parents, you're no longer allowed to have access to information about what prescriptions your children are on. We've got to protect their privacy and our agenda. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom-loving friend, where we like to call out the wise hypocrisy and corruption of tyrants, shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities, and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. There's some funny business going on. And by funny, I mean like it's not hilarious at all. It's frightening. And it has to do with kids. Man, nothing just irks me more when I see agendas, groups, policies, endangering kids and we all know the past few years kids have been endangered with dangerous gender ideologies as well as not only the allowing but the promotion of medications permanent surgical changes onto kids the physician's creed hippocratic oath first do no harm cool well if we get a given procedure if we get the name changed so it doesn't sound harmful then we can do that same harmful procedure now as like it's called a treatment like we, we can't just slice your arm off but if we call it like amputee reduction surgery then we can do the same thing and we're not violating the Hi hippocratic oath that kind of stuff is going on now there's a healthcare provider group out of North Carolina who has just released a rather creepy statement that looks like it's doing nothing other than serving the gender ideology agenda, putting children at risk. But of course it's packaged as, no, 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 we're, our new policy, it says to protect children. No, it's putting them at risk. It's putting a barrier between parents and their children. That's a no-no. So that the wolf has more access to the children. If there's a wolf around your children, don't you think you'd want the parents to have access to the children? Don't you think you'd want the parents to have an opportunity to protect the children? So here's what happened. This is the Carolina Care Access for Young Adult Dependents, ages 12 to 17. We wanted to let you know about an upcoming change to your Carolina Care account that will take effect November 1st, 2023. Starting November 1st, 2023, you will no longer be able to access prescription information for children between the ages of 12 and 17. You're not allowed to know what prescription medications your child is on. Once they turn 12, you're not allowed to know. It's also interesting, you know, 12 to 17, obviously after 17, they're 18, they're an adult. But 12 to 17, that's just, what is that? Well, that's coincidentally the exact sweet spot of ages that uh, we like to prescribe hormones to, puberty blockers to. That's weird. just a coincidence, I'm sure. So parents, you're not allowed to know what prescription medications your child is on. It's like, well, who the hell is putting my child on prescription medications I don't know about? That's the problem. This change is to protect the privacy of your child's prescription records. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not to protect anything about your child. It's to protect the gender ideology industrial complex. It's meant to protect their profits. And I think more important to the evil that runs this thing, more important than profits of like, well, we do, we just want to prescribe a lot of hormones and a lot of puberty blockers. I think do they, they do have an agenda to capture and control children. And the way they do that is by demoralizing them, degenerating them psychologically and physically. And on yours.com, it has a write-up about this. A hospital network based in North Carolina, Atrium Health's, Carolina Care Home Delivery Pharmacy has informed parents that after their children turn 12, they will no longer be able to access information regarding their prescriptions. There is no excuse for this. Oh, we are protecting your, your child's uh, private information. <laughs> no, you're trying to protect yourself, you predator. If a predator is telling you what you're not allowed to do for your child, because the predator wants to protect your child, you gotta have a backbone, you gotta have courage, you gotta be bold, and you have to say it like it is. You're the one I need to protect my child against. This is absolutely ludicrous. And on Twitter, Libs of TikTok posted this exact thing. Let's take a look at the comment section and see if people are ravingly excited about this ability for their children's prescription records to be protected from their parents knowing what prescriptions they're on. It's like, oh, you know, uh, little Johnny, man, he uh, he's talking like a girl now. Why is little Johnny starting to look like a girl? 
girl. Why did little Johnny start menstruating? Sure wish I knew what prescription medications he was on. That could have something to do with it. You're not allowed to know. See what the comments say. One user says, children have no expectation of privacy when it comes to medical decisions from their parents. Yeah, that's appropriate. A child cannot consent to life-altering medications and procedures. Fact check true. This isn't rocket science. Kids can't even understand opposing worldviews in most circumstances. Another user, this is bad. Yeah. Another user says, this is an oxymoron because they begin by talking about young adult dependence. By the nature of being dependent, parents are responsible for them. That's a good point. Therefore, have absolute no right to their medical records and medical decisions. You are completely dependent on me. Cool. But, you know, I shouldn't be able to know what medications you're on because you're dependent on me as a caregiver, parent, guide you along the way, pay for your stuff, uh, make decisions because you're, you're not 18, you can't legally make decisions. You're completely dependent on me, but I definitely shouldn't be able to know what medications you're on. Another user puts it rather eloquently, people need to start going to jail. Long sentences. Agreed. Another user, that's completely unacceptable. And then lastly, homeschool your kids, dramatically lowering the possibility of government intervention with your kids and parenting decisions. I have to agree with that. So this latest news from Carolina Care, not allowing parents to know what medications their child is on, which would also imply there's a scenario where parents like medications are being prescribed for a child without the parent's knowledge. And then whatever prescriptions they're on, they don't know about that either. There is nothing other than evil behind this. I wish I could say it like, you know, there's some other, no, like it's evil. There's no other possibility I see trying to take kids from parents, trying to protect kids from the parents. No, there's like a small segment of the population that needs that. That's why this thing called Child Protective Services exists. The state becoming, well, we're Child Protective Services and all kids need to be protected, especially from those loving parents. No, not on my watch. Carolina care. I would say you're Carolina predators. We need to know about things like this because if these things happen, they're swept under the rug, but they're implemented. Nobody really knows about them and they just proliferate. It's just like a virus taking over. So we want to, through the light of our awareness, we want to ivermectin this stuff, and stop it from replicating. Even though this isn't good news, it's something, it's good news that we're aware of it, good news that we're talking about it, because evil can really only exist in darkness. And uh, who the hell was it? I forgot who it was, but some wise person said, all it takes for evil to proliferate is for a few good men to do nothing. Well, we want to do something about it. It starts by being aware and talking about it. Thank you for watching this with me, my freedom-loving friend. Look forward to seeing you on our next video. But before you go, i got a special message for you. What's up, my friends? I am here with two recovered nutritional zealots, Wade Lightheart and Matt Gallant, who also happen to be the authors of the Ultimate Nutrition Bible. Now, before I throw it to them and have them tell you about their amazing book, I wanna reminisce with you. I miss the good old days when what divided people the most were nutritional dogmas and zealotry, like, oh, the, the, the meat eaters have it right, no, the paleos have it right, no, the keto bros have it right, no, the vegan bros have it right. I think the problem with all those systems is they work, but the other problem is they don't work for everybody. That's why I've become a big fan of the new book, The Ultimate Nutrition Bible. You wanna tell them about it, Wade? Yeah, most people will fall into a diet strategy for a while and it will work but then it doesn't, and what do you do? So we have crafted a way that you can succeed regardless of the diet that you choose. You base it on your lifestyle, your genetics, and also your goals because not every diet's right for you or not every diet's right for you now. Matt. Yeah, so again, the three key questions is, is this the right diet for you? Is it right for you right now? Because again, goals change, priorities change. And are you doing it the best way possible? So we spent the last three years crafting this book. It is a reference guide. It's a choose your own adventure, build your own adventure kind of book. If you're a fan of some of Tim Ferriss's book, you'll love this book. And we're super excited to share it with you. So give them the URL. I love this. Nutrition has been a huge part of my life for over 22 years. I'm not a fan of most nutritional books out there 
because they come from a dogmatic approach and they'll work for some people but won't work for everybody. So I love the individualized component of the Ultimate Nutrition Bible. And if you wanna get your hands on it and take your health and nutrition and vitality to the next level, go to ultimatenutritionsystem.com slash JP and pick yourself up a copy today.